quorum, and I'll call the December the 12th, 2017 uh, Board of Supervisors meeting to order. Uh, we have uh, Tony Helms from Grace Baptist Church here to do our invocation. I ask everybody to please stand and remain standing for the pledge. Father, I want to thank you for allowing us to be able to be here. Lord, I want to thank you for each and every one who bring out the laws, Lord, who uh, are willing to be able to uh, support the laws that you provided for us. Lord, I want to thank you for each and every one of these men who are here tonight. Uh, Lord, I ask you to put your hand of uh, protection upon them. Uh, Lord, I thank you for each man who comes and protects uh, our, our county, our district, uh, Lord, our, our land. Lord, I thank you for our president. And Father, I pray that you just bless this meeting tonight. Lord, let it go smooth. And Lord, I ask you just to give us a, a, a safe night tonight. Lord, I ask you to be with uh, uh, each and every person as they go home tonight uh, because of the weather. Father, I thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 <coughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Again, welcome everyone for coming out. Uh, we have a few. We've got snow on the road. Hopefully everybody gets home safe and uh, everybody in town stays safe and on the roads tonight. Uh, we'll move right on into our Genesis Citizens Time. I have Miss Myers. Yeah, I only have one item, gentlemen, um, from the last from the last meeting, the budget committee requested a $2,500 payment to a donation to the Walmart Foundation. I did some research. The profits for Walmart last year were $17 billion. Each and every one of us gives them a donation every time we shop there. I do not think it is within your definition of budgetary whatever, frugality, to be giving away our money, taxpayer money. With It's not at your discretion. Charitable donations should be at the public's discretion from their own pocket when they feel like it. So last year with line item 457015, that was $15,000. You guys decided to donate to civic organizations and with the $2,500, you're now up to 1750. I hope you remember that in this coming spring when we get into budget time again and do not give any donations to any civic organizations. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Myers. Anybody else like to speak during citizens' time? Hearing none, we'll close citizens' time. Okay, we have the. Mr. Yes. Chairman, could I just address that matter? Just yes. Uh, that was actually $2,500 that the sheriff's office received from the Walmart Foundation for items and we amended and appropriated that money into our budget so they could use that money to buy supplies so it was not a gift or a donation from the county to the walmart foundation it was uh it was accepting it money went the other way yes. yeah well you guys didn't say that i mean it didn't come out that way at the meeting last week i don't i, I don't or two weeks ago i don't think the sheriff's department was at all it was a recommendation from the budget committee but anyway it's history to accept the grant and yes and didn't amend the appropriate money to the sheriff's office yeah no you didn't do that you just took it as a recommendation and just did it yeah you didn't need a second and then off it went yeah sorry the, the, the what was in the committee package uh, was the sheriff's letter and said right today, and we were not privy to that yeah today our office received a check from the walmart foundation in the amount of two thousand five hundred dollars so that, that was the information. Just wanted to clarify okay. that. I was going to say, in our minutes, it says a donation in the amount of $2,500 from the Walmart Foundation. Okay, glad we got that cleared up. Okay, we have the minutes of the previous meeting, November the 28th, 2017. I entertain a motion to approve. Chairman, I make that motion. I have a second. Second. I have a motion and second. Any corrections or changes need to be made? Hear none, we'll do a roll call vote. Dr. Houseman? Uh, I'll abstain. I'll abstain. Aye. 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 The chair votes. Uh, motion passes. I entertain a motion to pay the invoices. <coughs> so moved. Have a second. Second. Have a motion second. Is any invoice any board member would like to
pull out or question. Here none, we'll do a roll call vote. Mr. Horney? Aye. Yeah. Aye. 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 And the chair votes aye. Next item is old business. We have the ordinance 201704 and ordinance. Uh, um, Y'all had the public hearing on the, was it? November 15th. November the 15th. <clears throat> Uh, and this is the vacation of a right of public right away, and I think there were two members that hadn't been notified, and they have been notified now and have signed on the vacating of the right of ways. So I'll entertain a motion to uh, approve ordinance 201704. I have, I have a motion and a second. Any question or discussion? You want to do a brief summary of what? Yeah, basically, Mr. Dickens and some of the landowners out in, in Max Meadows, and primarily Mr. Dickens owns most all of the properties surrounding <coughs> these right of ways, was looking to vacate uh, the right of ways shown on page, uh, I guess, 47 of the agenda. Um, the, the reason we did not take action last meeting, down along the old named 8th Street, uh, there were uh, two landowners that have discovered. Uh, the, the names that had signed the original letter were not the actual landowners. Uh, the Planning Commission worked uh, with Mr. Dickens. They got in touch with those two landowners. They are interested in vacating that right away. So with the public hearing being held, uh, he's wanting to take all of this into one large lump sum of property, vacate all those right of ways. Uh, staff's recommendation is to proceed with the adoption of this ordinance. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any other questions? Hearing none, we'll do a roll call vote. Dr. Hausman? Aye. 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 <coughs> the chair votes aye. Rural Creek Lake lease update, Mr. Burr. Yeah, just uh, I asked Martha to include this in here just in case we've got any information uh, for this meeting. Um, as you know, we, we've been working since early last year, January, February, June or so. We reached an agreement with DGIF on, uh, on the, the, the lease agreement. I followed up in October and November with uh, the, the Department of General Service that it went to. Um, they sent us an email back and indicated um, everything was, you know, they understood all the agreements were in place with DGIF. The Department of General Services wanted to have some additional language and things inserted into it. And because of the extension of the lease, they are going to be required to hold a, uh, a public hearing on their side for what they're proposing to do. So their recommendation is to enter into an extension of the current lease for a period of six months. Um, I may ask them to go ahead and just do it for a year and that way it takes us all the way through the next camping season and that way if something were to happen or were to change, it doesn't do that. Um, but they are basically going to send us a document. Our county attorney is working with them to uh, extend under the current terms and conditions for at least a six month period, maybe a year. Um, nothing came in to get this finalized. I've traded some emails with them today, some of the information about when the Rural Tree Lake Authority disbanded and dissolved and when the county took over all the operations. So uh, I hope to have all that information for you at the December 27th meeting. Very okay. So there's no action to be taken. No action tonight. needed this time. I was hoping that we'd have a, a draft letter to extend that six months, but we do not have that yet. Okay. Is there anything else under old business? Um, just while we're on Rural Retreat Lake area, Miss Myers just handed me a letter from the Glade Mountain Saddle Club uh, about uh, requesting uh, obtaining the contract, uh, the lease from the fairgrounds. I received the same letter from the uh, Saddle Club. So uh, we will be drafting that to transfer the lease from the Fair Association to the Saddle Club and the uh, Antique Tractor Club, and that'll be on our next agenda as well. Okay. Okay, new business. BML VACO uh, <coughs> refunding resolution. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Um, working with VACO VML Finance, the same that we just dealt with on our new money. Um, we had a, a 2006 bond issuance out there that uh, they helped us with a refinancing of that bond issuance. Uh, local bank here, Skyline Bank, was the low bidder uh, on this uh, project. 
Uh, this is a net present value of uh, 260,000, a total debt service savings of $263,000. Will be about a 40,000 debt service savings this year and a little less than 28,000 per year from 2019 through 2026. Mr. Webster Day is bond counsel that you all previously approved. Um, this is not new money, this is refinancing the old, so uh, staff's recommendation would be to adopt the resolution um, with the revised lower interest rate for this uh, for this bond issue. And Ms. Castle did hand out, Ms. Castle, Ms. Collins did hand out a uh, the final just update of the bond purchase agreement that had the actual um, correction for the names. I think it was blue line in the uh, in the agenda, but it does have the correct names to go with. Anything else from that, Ms. Collins? Upon approval, when do you, when are you going to do the signing? Um, they are aiming for possibly December 20th, but Ms. Gwynn may have a conflict with that date. Would you be available for the 20th? Yeah, I'll, I'll be back on the 19th, so I'll be here. Okay, I'll enter, entertain a motion. So moved. I have a second. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any question or discussion? Just out of curiosity, what, what was the original bond for? Do you know? This is actually the New River Regional Water Authority. Oh, okay. Uh, bond and the, 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 the <coughs> will actually all be shared. It'll help all of us. With our okay, so that's what, okay. I'm with you. Any other questions? Hear none with the roll call vote, Mr. Horney. Aye. Uh, yeah. Aye. Uh, Aye. Uh, 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 the chair votes. Uh, Building and Grounds Committee report. Building and Grounds Committee met uh, December the 5th and reviewed the bid to see for replacement of pavers and concrete in front of the circuit court and general district court buildings. The committee recommends rejecting all bids and to re advertise this project in 2018. Uh, it was approaching winter and not a time to be pouring concrete. So we'll do that again in the spring with your approval. Okay, uh, come for committee. Does it doesn't need a second? Any questions? All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. Okay. Uh, next <coughs> time on agenda proposed legislation, uh, I guess I can go over this. The, emissions tax at the apex center and cigarette tax referendum uh, i met with senator carrico a couple of fridays ago and uh, he is uh, going to put in the bills for both of them uh, shouldn't uh, have any problem on the emission tax for the exposition center because they passed one last year for washington county uh, the cigarette tax referendum uh, we did talk, discuss about uh, he talked about um, putting it in for every county to be able to hold a referendum uh, or just us. He said he was going back and talk to their caucus as a whole and see what they wanted to do. But it will, it, the bill is going forward and uh, I've talked to also um, Delegate Campbell and he's going to put forth the bills on the House side. So does anybody else have any other questions? And I will be going down in February to legislate today. And, uh, and uh, I don't know which committees they'll be in, but I will be speaking in front of each committee. Is the, is the state looking at increasing cigarette tax? I haven't heard. Okay. Not likely. Not likely in any tax. I had not heard anything anyway. Uh, Okay, we have uh, next item on Genesis 2018 Rules of Procedure. You have a copy of our Rules of Procedure in uh, your board package. Um, if everybody would look over them, Rules of Procedure, and uh, if you would like to make changes or a suggestion of any changes in the Rules of Procedure, please get them uh, in to Stephen or Mr. Barr. Sorry about that. And... Um, uh, where we can go over them at our uh, next meeting or and we'll be voting on them the first meeting in 
January. Mr. Uh, Chairman, if I'm like two meeting dates in there that are looking at changing, three meeting dates, excuse me. One is moving to the end of the fiscal year meeting to Friday, June 29th. Uh, the other one is moving to Wednesday, November 14th due to uh, BACO annual conference. And then the final meeting in December the 25th is uh, obviously Christmas Day. We're moving it to Wednesday, December 26th. Don't know if that's good for everybody if you want to look at moving it to Thursday. Uh, when, Monday and Tuesday are holidays on the state <coughs> calendar next year. Wednesday is not a holiday, so staff to be here, that would not be a problem, but just something for you all to consider when you get to your January meeting. It, it, it's fine with me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll second his. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is that, is that really, I mean, is the rest of it about the same as it was? The rest of it is, is really, uh, the only check the the changes that were made last year to get the code sections updated, uh, that's the only major changes that exist. Actually, the only changes that exist in there. So. Okay, and we have the meeting calendar for 2018, which I know these two on the end don't have <laughs> to look at that too, well, too much. Well, let's talk about that last one in December, man. Mo moving it to the day after Christmas, since we're moving it anyway, would it be wise to let people have till Thursday to get back in town and get over the Christmas travel or whatever? It doesn't create a problem for staff. It just gives you more time to get things together. Yeah, I, would you entertain that? I, I have no objections to that at all. I think it's a good idea. Because it's a day meeting and it's the first day back and it means coming in here and at eight o'clock and then in the meeting at nine. <laughs> With no the time to public prepare. coming back in I, you know, for the public is probably better for Thursday as well. Does not have any impact on any of our operations. Uh, no, I, I think that would be a good suggestion. And if you all, if, if most of y'all agree with that, we'll put that in the draft of the, the next one to go out. Does anybody have any problems with the, the Thursday instead of Wednesday? Go ahead and have that, okay. make that change. And we do have at the, the bottom of the calendar just the times for our uh, committee meetings, but obviously those are subject to change with uh, two new board members coming on and work schedules involved. It may be more 4 o'clock afternoon meetings as opposed to 8 o'clock meetings or things like that. So those, those aren't set in stone as the committees are established uh, and appointed, then uh, we'll work on establishing that schedule. Okay. Well, is there anything else do you have, Mr. Barrett, come for the board for new business? I have no additional items tonight, sir, and hopefully it'll stop snowing and I'll get home safely. May I ask a quick question? Monday, is, we're supposed to have fire and rescue. We still... We still have the fire and rescue on Monday. Eight o'clock. Okay. I be here. I may not be here. I, uh, be I, may, here. Not, I may have to... Uh, the reason is that uh, we had to reschedule interviews for new executive director for uh, for Mount Rogers and the only day that everybody could do it was on on Monday the 18th I don't know what time they'll start uh, well I, I can't be here either I'll be out of town until Tuesday evening so See, well, we don't really have many burning issues do we? no there is a um, one issue that may come up uh, that we have to, to make some recommendations with and if that one may just be one we'll do a call meeting. Uh, we'll just have Jason send the meeting out that, that we have some conflicts and we can't do it and we need to reschedule. Well, do you want to have it? You want to have it that Thursday? Will you be able to come Thursday? Yes. How to be the twenty? Twenty first. Uh, yeah. At at nine thirty, we have. Uh, if we did it like at, at 8, if it's not going to take too long, at 9.30 we have new re for regional water, but we'd do it at 8. Uh, uh, what's the following Monday? Christmas. Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm not. I'm no. Not <laughs> <laughs> uh, Friday morning. I mean, if we don't have but one thing, do you think it'll last over an hour? I don't think it would, no, but I, don't, I never know what other but if we started it 
at, at, at eight, eight, that's an hour and a half. All yeah. we have to do is just go to the town office. And, and since Dr. Alton's going to be here anyway, we can just have it that morning. And we'll have budget at 4 o'clock that Thursday. All right, well, uh, Martha, if you'll help me remind Jason to send that notice out, we'll move it to Thursday. And send us an email, too. Yeah. I'll change it. But. All right. Okay, is there anything else come for the board at this time? Not, I just want to thank Dr. Hausman and Mr. Willis for their service to the board these past eight years and four years. Uh, it's been a pleasure working with you. Uh, I know we don't see eye to eye on everything, but we're still friends. <laughs> and I'm, you know, and I've always said, you know, it's, you know, serving on this board, it's always been nice. You know, we can disagree, you know, on views and stuff and the way we do things and uh, move things forward. But when we walk out the door, we're, we can still shake hands and be friends. There are a lot of a lot of boards in Virginia don't do that. I mean, they they walk out the door and never speak to each other. But uh, I'm glad here in Wythe County we can uh, disagree and, and still smile and, and be friends with each other. But I do want to thank you for your service. Uh, Y'all been a real asset to Wythe County. Would anybody else like to make any comments? Yeah, I'd like to add, Gary, I'm really going to miss you. <laughs> <laughs> What, do we have another meeting? Uh, a, a mental, a mental. <laughs> well, uh, I'm Steve's not. not. Oh, Steve's not. Okay. Uh, mental challenge is good for old people. <laughs> you might look forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking as, uh, uh, you know, as, as one that's getting there, yeah, it is. <laughs> and, uh, anybody else? So this is your last one, Steve? This is it, and I would like to thank everybody on this board for the lessons that I have learned for working around my crazy schedule. Martha, <laughs> for all you do. Stephen, uh, I appreciate it. I've learned a lot. We, we'll probably invite you back since you're not going to be here. Like yeah, but I get to sit day. out here. Yeah. So, yeah, thank <laughs> you. It's been fun. Uh, I will give you an update on orientation. We had orientation with our two new board members. It went well, I thought. Uh, they asked a lot of uh, real good questions, intelligent questions uh, to the people coming and uh, doing the interviews, and uh, I think they're going to be a be asset to the board. So we look forward to seeing them on uh, January the 9th. <laughs> and uh, would the uh, emails were having the swearing-in ceremony on uh, December the 28th. Uh, at here at the circuit court, circuit court. Uh, everybody can attend. Please do so. Uh, it's a it's a special moment for them people. I have one question. For yes. Stephen. In your four years' experience here, has it prepared you for anything for gainful employment? Well, Volvo's hiring, so I, I am looking at that. <laughs> Uh, Bill, you want to give a quick update on the, the construction? Yes, sir. Um, things are going well. We, uh, of course, we had the contract was signed on December 1st. The notice proceed was issued on December 1st. But the uh, foundations are primarily in. The, uh, the west face is done. The foundation wall's in. The east face, the foundation wall's in. All the column footer for the piers are in on the, east, on the west side, all 11 of them. And they did six today on the east side, or southeast, the way the building's oriented, but we're calling them east and west. Five more to go in the next day or two, weather dependent, and that'll be the foundation, you know, not the walls on top of them. Some block has been laid on the outer perimeter, but the foundations, you know, in general are going to be complete in the next day or two, weather letting us get there and get it done. That was the goal, get them in the ground so they can get the steel started erecting that. Anchor bolts are set. That tells me steel's on the way. Only five clear span structures to put in for the for the piers yes yeah. five more on the on the east side they did six today yes sir cool. and then they'll have all that in a little bit on the uh, end walls you know like where the doors and all are but some the stuff that's really going to let them put the building up will be done hopefully in the next day or two 
Okay. Uh, there's a lot of concrete in the ground. Yes, sir, a lot of concrete. Um, our testing agency showed up today, FNR, took some cylinders. So we got that contract going. We have a new construction manager, Mr. David Shanks. Y'all, some of y'all know him from, from uh, Christiansburg area. He's worked on other projects in the area. Done a lot of work, I believe, in the past on a few projects for RGM, so he's familiar with the way they do business. Um, signed the pay application today for uh, basically the bonds and mobilization. That's 10% of the contract value. So on the next one, I'll be able to give you what a real work in place number is. The WIP, I call it from the Navy days, because that'll, that'll be paying everybody for the work that's been in the ground. So it's the usual upfront 10%, just getting things going you know, for the contract. So. Bill, from your core days, what did you think of that drawdown schedule the way the state does it? It goes by the disciplines. I like it. It tells me what's going on. I can can track it easily, know where we are in the project, uh, relate it back to a flow chart. You know, Gives you around. a lot more control, doesn't it, about what you pay for? Yes, sir. You know exactly what's going in the ground and being put in the building. So things uh, are well. And I think we're going to get something to be able to get on the roof and be able to work all through the winter, it looks like. That's good. Yes, sir. Subject to your questions? It may turn cold in January and February. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Bill. Uh, Stephen, you have anything else? Uh, does any board member have anything else? If not... I'd like to say one thing about Mr. Shanks. Uh, they did a great job in hiring a guy that's totally overqualified. And for, for y'all's uh, benefit, I hope it means something to you, is BS is in physics and his master's degree is in architecture and it's very good to know that there's an architect somewhere that understands physics. <laughs> and when is he starting? <laughs> He's already started. He's already started. Okay. Starting Monday. Okay, does anybody else have anything? Uh, just for information, Martha, please advise in the days that the office is closed down, half day to 20th, So the next meeting is the 27th. Yes. Okay. Okay. Good. Y'all well, leave uh, Tim's number on the protocol, don't you? If somebody calls in and got a problem, it goes right to Tim. That's right. Okay. I can handle it. <laughs> I, I have a request. Yes. Maybe we can get an update from the JIDA as to what's going on. Yes. Um, how about the day meeting in January? We can do that. We've got a meeting tomorrow with them to talk about the retail coach. Um, 11 o'clock tomorrow, I believe, is that meeting uh, to talk about the retail coach. But uh, we will schedule them to come in, make a presentation. And uh, schedule a closed session for that, too, when we can yeah. talk about projects that's ongoing. Uh, I understood in talking to you there's not going to be anybody here. Is that right? It's going to be a teleconference? Correct. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I really don't feel like coming out of the mountains to come to a teleconference, so do well. You want to call in? <laughs> no. Uh, probably run the phone bill up. We'll get you some notes. No okay. Now, is that all the business we have to bring for the board at this time? If it is. I want to know first, are you setting a record or do we need to drink? No, we done passed our record. Okay. <laughs> I thought I'd be done a lot sooner than this, but we're not. So we're adjourned.